Hi, this is Chris from Essential SQL, and today we're going to continue our conversation about where cost conditions with discussion of the OR operator. Now, the OR operator is used to string together multiple comparisons, and the beauty of the OR operator is, is that only one of those comparisons has to satisfy true in order for our record to be included in the result. Now, before we get too far along with talking about OR, I want to let you know that, keep in mind that Boolean logic doesn't necessarily translate to English statements. I guess a good example would be is if I were to say, search for all customers in the states of Florida and Georgia, I think you'd probably know I meant, I'm really looking for customers that are either in Florida or Georgia, one or the other not necessarily a customer that's in both Florida and Georgia, like they're in both at the same time. So there is a there is a case where how I say it is a little different than how I mean it. And it's pretty easy to get tripped up. So when you're listening to a requirement from a user or maybe from yourself because you've written down a statement, look at what you really mean by the statement and then write the Boolean algebra. All right. So let's get on with the or. So I think the best way to look at this is to is to obviously use an example. And what I want to look at is customers. And let's look for all the customers that could be considered owners. And in the past, what we've said is, is that owners are really those people that might be like CEOs, um, literally owners or presidents of their company. So in our example, what I would do then is I would basically be saying, I want to look for where the contact title is CEO or the contact title is owner or the contact title is president. So let's just run this to see what the results would be. So you see it comes back with um, those people that are owners. Uh, we don't have data for the CEOs and presidents, so I'm just getting the owners right now. Now this is the same thing as using the in clause. Do you remember when we used the in clause in um, previous video. Well, let me show you what that looks like. This is the kind of equivalent logic. It's the same thing as saying select the company name, contact title from customers where the contact title is in CEO, owner, or president. This verbiage here is the same thing as saying contact title equals CEO or contact title equals owner or contact title equals president. They're, they're equivalent. As you can see, they come back with the same, same answer. Let's talk about one more operator, the, the not operator. The not operator takes the condition and changes it to the opposite. So if it was given uh, a value of true, it'll change it to false. Well, this can come in handy is, is for instance, if we're looking for um, everybody except a certain value. So in our case, I may be looking for um, all customers that aren't installers. So I could say, you know, select contact name, title, from customers where not contact title equals installer. So um, that would look like this. So I would do uh, select, as you see, it comes back with all the um, contacts and their titles where they're not um, installers. You may go, hey, but couldn't you have done that a different way? It's like, yeah, again, instead of saying where not contact title equal installer, I could have said where contact title does not equal installer. But how about this? Here's one that I can't do um, a separate way is um, this in statement that I'm going to bring in right now. I can actually do like a not in. So this would bring back all customers who are not owners. So really, as you see here, it says not in CEO, owner, or president. So when I do this, so you see it brings back just the director of installations, the installer, and the purchaser. So this is actually a really good one to use as well. So now we've talked about or and not. Um, I'd like to thank you. In the next um, video, we'll talk about combining these together and then do some exercises. But for now, if you have any questions, please feel free to email me at chris at essentialsql.com or Twitter me, tweet, at SQL Chris. Have a good day.